I personally think the mechanics of materials is just this basic core thing that you need to understand. Um, you need to understand how things behave, how they fail, how they break, and if you learn that, you can take that skill and you can translate it to any job in the future, whether it's in academia, whether it's in a national lab, whether it's in industry. That's one of the fundamental things that, as an engineer, you need to know. In my research, uh, I'm using a, a very new experimental technique in which um, digital image correlation is combined with scanning electron microscopy to study the deformation mechanisms in ultra-fine grain materials, uh, in particular aluminum, um, at the microstructural length scale. So plasticity is really important in our research. Uh, one example, one of my students, Adam, is looking at um, these metallic alloys called ultra-fine grain metals. And the idea is that you um, have grains in, in a metal. And if you make those grains smaller, um, you increase uh, the strength of the metal. So there's this saying, smaller is stronger. Um, the problem is, as you take these grains that are really big and you bring them down to a really small size, you make lots and lots of grain boundaries. And so the material, it becomes stronger, but it also becomes um, more brittle. You lose ductility. And what we're doing is we're combining this new technique. Um, it's called digital image correlation. And the basic idea is that you paint the surface of the specimen with dots. And you track every dot in relation to every other dot to figure out the full field strains. So for digital image correlation, you need to have uh, a pattern on the surface of your sample. Um, and what, what the software does is it tracks the motion of that pattern. And from that, it calculates the displacement and the strain. Um, so, since I'm looking at such a small field of view, uh, pretty much the, the width of a human hair or below, um, we need really small, uh, speckle, a really small speckle pattern. And so I use these nanoparticles as a speckle pattern on my surface, uh, and they adhere really well and, and can really show me um, the deformation that's occurring on the surface of my test samples. The cool thing about my students is they all are really fundamentally interested in the why, and they're all willing to get, you know, really involved in the experiment and get their hands dirty, and they're persistent, um, and they're curious, and they're enthusiastic, and they're smart, and it's just a joy to work with them. It really is. The most exciting thing is uh, the free coffee that we have. No, but it's it's actually uh, actually running the experiments in in. Digital image correlation allows you to see strain begin to localize on the surface and being able to see it actually form in these bands within the grains just as uh, you were always taught in all of your classes but to see that it's actually happening and within these bands you have very high strains and outside of them almost zero strain is just it's always fascinating when you see that start to happen. Regardless of what kind of engineer you are, plasticity is, is important, it's everywhere. Um, in order to understand how a component is going to behave, um, its macroscopic stress-strain behavior, in order to understand how it's going to fatigue, in order to understand how it's going to fracture, um, you need to understand plasticity because plasticity is in each of those processes. And it's in each of those processes from the very, very small length scale all the way up to the macroscopic length scale. And it's, it's really, truly, intriguing and exciting to um, investigate uh, this, this phenomenon and it's, um, it's just really fun.